Welcome, it's Craig from Kirkman's Academy and I've put this following presentation together to help give a fundamental understanding of what standard deviation actually is. I've designed it so that anybody from any level could follow this if they haven't already got an understanding of standard deviation. So if you'd like to gather that understanding, then keep watching. What is standard deviation? Well, standard deviation finds out how different each number in a given set of numbers is from their calculated average. Imagine that you are comparing the test results of two classes, class A and class B. The test results for the five students in class A are 60, 65, 70, 75, and 80. And the test results for the five students in class B are 40, 50, 70, 90, and 100. We firstly need to calculate the average value of each group's test results. So, beginning with class A, which equals 70. 70 is the average, or mean, of these test results. And so the next thing to do is subtract this mean of 70 from each of the original test results. So, 60 minus 70, 65 minus 70, 70 minus 70, 75 minus 70, and 80 minus 70. As we can see by the numbers here, some of the results will be in negative values. For example, if we calculate the first figures here, the result will be minus 10. In standard deviation, the point is to show if each of the numbers are far from the average of all the numbers, and positive numbers will show this simpler and easier than negative numbers will. So to make sure we don't have negative numbers when calculating standard deviation, we simply square the result of each of the calculations. If we recalculate like this using square, then it looks more like this, equals 100. Now we have a positive figure of 100, rather than a negative figure of minus 10. So we use the 100 figure in our standard deviation calculation. We repeat this for each one of the five test results. We then calculate the average of all of the squared results, which works out to be 50. We then square root this value of 50, which turns out to be approximately 7.07. .07. This is the standard deviation value of the five original test results for class A. Now, we repeat the same process for class B. The result here is approximately 22.8. We then compare the two results and see that the standard deviation of class A is 7.07 .07 and class B is 22.8. We can clearly see that compared to class A, class B is much higher. Class A's lower number means that each of the test results are not too much different from the average or mean of them all. So that means that the higher the number, the values have a greater difference or variation from each of the test results. So in summary, when the standard deviation is low, there is little difference between the average value of these numbers from any of the individual numbers themselves. When the standard deviation is high, a larger difference between the individual numbers exist from the average of each of them. Okay, thank you for watching that. And if you did benefit from it, then please do drop me a like and consider subscribing. And I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching.